this video, I will show you how you can fix the problem with the Samsung Galaxy S9 or the S9 Plus not being able to rotate. So the problem is the phone uh, does not rotate. So even when you uh, enable the rotate button here, it's still not uh, rotating. So the first and the most likely uh, solution that will fix your problem is uh, wiping the cache partitions. But in this video, I will show you at least six or seven ways you can try to fix the problem. So first, switch off the phone power off then tap power off and this one will uh, power off the phone so the solution number one is to wipe the cache partition so to get into the recovery mode we want to press on the volume up key and the big speed keys and then after that press and hold to the power button uh, until we see the android logos appear so first volume up and the big speed key press that two keys and hold then press on the power key and then hold and wait so three keys all together, press and hold until we see the Android logos appear. And that's it, so now we see that the Android logo appear, we can let go. And using the volume down key to go to the wipe cache partition. And then we want to press on the power button to select. And then press on the volume down to go to the yes option. Press on the power key to select. And now cache partition is wiped. And then using the volume down key to uh, restart the device. So we boot the system now. Press on the power button to reboot the system. And so that is uh, solution number one. Try it now. See if you can rotate the device. If not, we go to the solution number two. Okay, so for solution number two, we want to check and make sure that uh, a third-party app that we install does not lock the auto-rotation uh, functions. So first we will uh, power off the device, tap and hold, so press and hold to the power off button, then tap on save mode, and now we will start the phone in uh, safe mode. Once we are in safe mode, no third-party apps are allowed to run. So that means uh, effectively uh, it will rules out any third-party apps that may cause the auto functions uh, to not working. So we wait for the phone to boot up. Okay, so once it is boot up in safe mode, we will uh, log in. Now check the auto rotation to see if it works. So swipe down, make sure auto rotation is turned on. And then we uh, can uh, test it out. So uh, open up an app and then try to rotate the phone to see if it actually rotates. If it is, uh, if it does rotate, then that means one of the third party apps is causing the phone to uh, lock up the auto rotation. So you will need to uh, manually guess which app is causing that uh, lock up. And then you can uh, remove that app or somehow work out what you can do with that app to fix the auto rotation problems. Now to uh, exit safe mode, simply press on the power button and then tap on restart. Tap on restart again to restart the phone. And this will uh, bring us to solution number three. In this solution, we will try to reset the settings on the phone and see if that helps solve the problem. Uh, sometimes uh, software bugs can definitely cause an issue. So uh, from the home screen, swipe down, tap on the settings icon. And in here, you want to go down to um, uh, general management and in here tap on reset then tap on reset settings now if you tap on reset settings it only reset the settings on your phone and not uh, wiping the data so tap on that and then tap on the reset buttons uh, to begin and once you do that you can uh, try to uh, rotate your phone and see if that works Okay, so the next solution is solution uh, number four. Again, it's involved resetting the device, but this time we will uh, reset the device uh, completely. So swipe down, tap on the reset button, tap on general management, then tap on reset, and then tap on factory data reset. And here, uh, once you are sure that you want to reset, you can uh, begin to uh, reset the device. So at the bottom here, uh, because I do not want to reset the device right now but uh, simply uh, erasing the device before you uh, reset the device you should uh, back up the data that you have so you can use um, uh, backup features in here to uh, back up the device if you want to back up uh, everything completely without losing anything 
you should uh, back up to the computer so download your Samsung software on your PC and make sure you perform a backup of the phone to the computer so in case anything goes wrong you can always restore it now if you try some of the solutions uh, previously and it still does not work then it could be uh, something to do with your hardware so you could try to recalibrate the device sensors so in here I uh, have gone to the Play Store and download one of the app uh, GPS status. Now there are a lot of other apps that you could choose to um, calibrate your phone. So in this uh, app here, what I do, I just install it, then I tap on the mute key, and then you can tap on diagnose sensors. And here you can go down the list and check and see which one is working and which one is not. And you can uh, use this app to uh, calibrate the sensors on the phone and see if that helps and uh, if those steps still doesn't work then you might want to use a, a third party app to rotate the, the screen forcefully so here I install an app called rotation control and in this app I turn on uh, start controlling rotation so once you turn on you can see it appears at the, on the top notification bar or on the status bar and once I drag it down I can force the screen to rotate So I just tap on this app here and I go down and I tap on rotate. You can see it's um, rotating sideways, horizontal, portrait. So there are quite a different number of options you can choose right here. And that will force the screen to rotate. Now whether you're holding portrait or not, it will force the screen to rotate. rotate. So that is rotating the screen by force. And the last solution is to, um, uh, if you try everything else and it still doesn't work, then you might want to bring the device into the Samsung store uh, to have it look at and maybe possibly uh, get the sensors repair. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope one of the solutions can help you fix the auto rotation problems. And most likely, the first solution, uh, wiping the cache partition, should solve your problem. So thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel for more videos.